Well, it's a common story you hear at Zerinsky Lake. You come back from a run, you find out your window's been broken out. Or even worse, you find out your car's been stolen. But a new sign that you'll see around the park is hoping to address those issues so things like this don't continue to happen. Like many others, Corey Gautier is at Zerinsky Lake often. I mainly just come here to get in a good run. He steered clear of an ongoing issue, but his friends have been running into problems. At least a couple friends who over the years, you know, sometimes in broad daylight, you know, windows broken out and stuff like that. And broken glass in the parking lots continue to tell that same story. The parking lots are fairly isolated. There's not a lot of good sight lines. So once you take off running and get away from your car, it's a very easy target for, uh, for the thieves to break into cars and unfortunately take a lot of stuff. That's why Joe Sutter is working on a plot twist. Now, the whole community came together to make this happen and uh, you know we're excited. Again, $5,000 is gonna make a, a good start towards cameras. Joe and his son have partnered with Omaha Parks and Rec to raise money through races like this one for security cameras to be installed at the lake. If we could get one bigger parking lot covered to where you know people feel safe at, and I think it's a, I think it's a great start. The security system will cost a few thousand dollars, which will take some time to be put into place. The system that we're looking at doing is going to be high quality, to where we can uh, we've already met with the police precinct. Well, they'll be a part of this also. Uh, it's good quality footage to where they could do something with it. Due to that cost, the city says it's unrealistic to think other parks will be equipped the same. But this partnership is a good step towards helping people at Zerinsky. We have beautiful lakes, beautiful trails. We want people to be able to go out and recreate uh, and then not have to worry about that when they get back. It's worth a little bit of added security, in my opinion, to you know be able to help somebody like that if they can. In Omaha, John Madden, 3 News Now. The city is still finalizing the budget for how much everything will cost. Bench anticipates it will be more than $20,000. He also says the city will pay some costs and the Sutters will need to host a few more races to raise enough money for the cameras. As of now, they hope to get them up and running in the spring of next year.